button. Okay. So, do you check my questions? Uh, yes, of course. So, good questions, right? Yes. Okay. Very interesting. And welcome to my channel for live music interview, Julia Luna. And today I will ask you nine questions in 40 minutes. And we will speak about your journey and your art, my friend. Very happy today to see you, Greetings from Iraq. Much love to you, my friend. Thank you. You're a masterpiece. Thank you. Okay. So, should we start? Yes, of course. I'm ready. Okay. Mm. So, my friend Julia, my first question. Uh, how do you start making electronic music? That's my first question. I want to ask you about your journey in electronic music. I was a big fan of electronic music since my childhood. And uh, some years ago, mm. I have decided to start. I downloaded uh, FL Studio. And still, I'm working in FL Studio to mm. write music. And uh, I just started. It was a little difficult way because I have no music education. But uh, fortunately... No uh, music education? Of... No, no. Self-taught artist? Yeah, yeah. Like a me, I'm a self-taught too. I'm oh, a self-taught too, yes. I'm a self-taught, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But uh, I've heard your... Uh, some of your albums and I have to uh, say that your mastering is really great because I don't do mastering myself uh, I use uh, help from studio of course yes I know you are a vocalist and you sing you are a singer right yes I sing and do, I sing you do some live project. performance I see some of your videos in YouTube you do some live performance you do a great job and yes thank you so that's your journey, right? So yeah. do you wish to become a composer in the future? You do everything by yourself. And... Uh, yes, yes. And it was the reason why I decided to um, receive a professional education in music. So soon I hope to be a producer. A I'm, a self composer. I'm a self-taught. No one teaching me. I just built myself. From scratch, when I started in 2019 electronic music, I discovered it in 2014. But after mm -hmm. years of listening genres, you know, electronic music world is not easy, easy to understand because it's very hard to become a composer and a sound designer. Yes. And, and this kind of music in this country is very rare because no one knows this kind of music, my friend Julia. So I start by myself alone. Yeah. So, hope you enjoy my discography in Bandcamp. I create a lot of mm, albums, yes, a lot of music. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. And congratulations to your last release in January. Remains, nice. remains, really? yes, remains. That's my Very latest amazing, release, yeah. yes, remains. Nice. Yeah. So, should we jump to another question, my friend? Yeah, of course. So, okay. How do you discover your particular sound? I can't say that I have any special sound, uh, but I have some uh, features uh, which are special for electrotherapy. I like to mix uh, genres and styles. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it's it's interesting. And um, I electrotherapy, think that electrotherapy. That's your label, <laughs> right? Your uh, your project, electrotherapy, not label. Right? Yeah, my project. Yes. Okay. So, another question. <laughs> Nine questions. So, another question. What inspire you and what make you want to keep producing music? Mm, a lot of things around me. Books, Nature, movies. of course, right? Nature, maybe movies. Uh, or... Yeah, yeah. Books, movies, and a lot of People. things around me. Mm -hmm. People to some situations, they are basis uh, for my ideas for a new track. Okay. So it's interesting. Sometimes you watch movie and then suddenly uh, an idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. The internet. Let's see. What's happened to internet? So I think uh, the internet, uh, some issues we have in the internet because 
the pictures has been stopped for a couple of seconds. Yeah, unfortunately. So, do you have some problems in internet? Oh, hello. Okay. Do you have some problems okay. in internet? Maybe you no, use VPN. I, VPN? I no, no. I don't use any VPN, and I don't see that I have any problems. But still, maybe you have everything old, old, is okay. Maybe you have some old phone or. Uh, no, I'm know. from my laptop, and it should work good. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> Just relax. We enjoy our time. It's a nice interview, nice answers, a nice journey from masterpiece artists like you. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Interesting discussion between artists. It's always a pleasure. Yes, it's very nice to know people and discover each other. And so, another question. What are a few key lessons you have learned about producing that other aspiring musicians and producers could take advice from? Mm, I think first of all is uh, to listen to your heart. If uh, everybody tell you that uh, please stop making music, but you want to make music, just go for it and make music. And uh, another thing is uh, to listen as uh, many new uh, songs as you can in different genres, it's really very important. And also to improve your skills. You mean training, sound design, practicing? Yes, yes. of course. Meeting different people, and inspiring yes, you, great music. Yes. Go and yes. listen, music and, and live performance, a lot of things, yes. That's yeah, not much, to much more. be afraid of mixing genres. Yeah. Enjoy, just yes, enjoy, just, just enjoy. Yes, yes. Yes, enjoy. Just enjoy. <laughs> Did someone interview before, uh, live interview, music, music interview, interview before someone? Oh, uh, yes, I had uh, oh. two years ago, yeah. Oh, long, so long. Yeah, two years. No. Yes, but uh, that year I had around four, three live, live interviews. Okay, so yeah, so that's your answer in the fourth question, right? Yeah. Right. So let's jump to fifth question. What outside of music inspire you to create? Ah, uh, you mean and as a musicians? Just the musicians, or uh, outside of music, inspire you? Uh. Ah, inspire me outside of music. Mm, as I told before, many things. So, okay, many things. Nice answer. So that's your answer, right? Just many things and musicians and music, books, and a lot of things. Live, mm, people. Yeah, life is so interesting. Why not? And people too, so interesting to discover. Yeah, but I think it's a big topic. <laughs> for discussion of course so another question what gear do you use in a studio and what gear do you use in live performance uh, you mean equipment right yes mm -hmm. uh, I have a... and uh, I need uh, I use uh laptop with monitors, uh, sound card, and... Uh, That's the, the main gears, the main gears you have, sound cards. Are... Yes, main gears you have. Sound yeah, card, yeah. monitor, I have a, keyboard. I have a, yeah, 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 for my uh, home studio. And I have a, <sighs> a laptop and sound card for my live performances too. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I use a vocal processor. So that's because I need a distortion for some songs. <laughs> yes, I use yeah. distortion too when I create a bad sound. Uh, so you used a lot of VST plugins. You don't use the hardware synthesizer like big gears. Um, 
No, no, unfortunately, I make whole music in a uh, program in computer, so I don't just like me, as yes, just like me. I just have yeah. my, my main instrument and my power is my computer. Just you need yeah. a computer, you don't need to, to buy a lot of gears, you don't need to buy a lot of big studio, ultimate studio, ultimate setup. No, just computer, yeah, guitars, and yeah, symbol guitar, symbol puddle, and symbol monitor. And everything will be okay, can great. A lot of tracks, a lot of albums, yes. and yes, and just one computer. And a lot of plugins. And yes. Plugins. I have a big I have a, of Yes, I have plugins. a lot of, bunch of plugins in uh, Ableton Live. Because uh, Ableton is my favorite DAW for all. Yeah. So, another question, my friend Julia. What's next for you as an artist? Mm, I would like to develop my conception it uh, means a lot of new photo shoots uh, new songs of course and um, i i'm thinking about my first video okay so yeah, so i think it will be interesting uh, experience for me and also i'm planning to have more live performances in 2020 in and this year 2024 you mean uh, yes yes this you year. will do a lot of performance and you do a lot of music in live. I I I hope that a lot, but um, life will show. Do you make some live show uh, when <clears throat> in your country? Sorry. Uh yes, I uh, all my performance uh, were here in Russia. So maybe a lot of but people in different cities. A lot of people inspire you, right? When you go live performance and you have a lot of fans, of course. A lot of people listen to your music and enjoy about your style. Of course, it's such a pleasure to see when people are dancing. Yes, very nice, very nice. Enjoying, it's the best what uh, <laughs> an artist can feel on yes. stage. So uh, I, I love uh, like performances, this yes, communication so nice. with people and listeners. Yeah, I remember when I do you know <laughs> there's a, a simple game in mobile, uh, Call of Duty Mobile. You know it. I just, I have an iPad and I start playing Call of Duty Mobile. There's a two Russian people, uh, Russian friends in the game. And hey, you are Omar Fadl from Iraq, you're playing electronic. <laughs> and they start yeah. to listen to my music. And it's such a pleasure for me. Yeah, for me too. So uh, you will have more and more listeners from Russia, I'm sure, and from other countries too. Yes, I, love, I know a lot of people from Russia. They are so much creative. <laughs> I remember I make a live interview. There's an artist and DJ and painter named Jana Kumaritsa. Do you know her? I watched, uh, I suppose I watched that video on your YouTube channel. Yes, she's from Russia, the same city. Yeah. Really. But she's a masterpiece. She do a lot of things. She making music and a lot of things. Well, she inspired me a lot. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Russian people are so you much creative. Can. Yes, <laughs> Russian people are so much creative. Okay, let's jump to another question. So, which three artists have influenced you the most growing up? Mm, I would like to start from my German band, Um. Because of this uh, band, many, many years ago, I fell in love with German language. And now I use it for some of my songs. Then I would like to mention Combi Christ and Suicide Commander. Because mm -hmm. of them, I started to listen to electronic music. And I decided that I should create music in this genre too. Wow. And by the way, they also like to mix uh, genres. It's interesting. Wow. I like such artists. I like experiments in music. Yeah, good. Excellent. But in Iraq, no one know about the electronic music and no one play electronic music for special. Unfortunately, it's so bad because I'm the first and the last artist who play electronic music in the whole country. <laughs> yeah, it's just me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very hard, you know. You just playing this kind of genre, it's very hard. It's not easy genre. Electronic is not easy genre ever. 
And uh, could I ask uh, if you have some listeners in your country? Well, a lot of listeners I have from Europe, not from Iraq, because no one knows oh. electronic music. It's hard, you know, Julia, to play mm, this yeah. kind of genre. And you know that rock and a lot of um, problems. Uh, rock music. Um, uh, rock music. From Iraq. There's a lot of, uh, in Iraq, a lot of rock and metal bands, maybe 10 mm. or 12 bands playing, uh, mm. but they playing in private, not in public. Because they're afraid, because this country, a lot of things inside. Yeah, and just me playing electronic. <laughs> so so you are the one. Yes. So when I great live music interview, it's my journey to uh, discover electronic music and discover artists. Even I'm a musician and producer to inspire me and inspire people when they want to create music and starting to make electronic music. So that's my journey when I start about the music and electronic for special. So uh, another question, any advice for those looking to start producing electronic music? Is there a particular setup or process that may help others? Mm, I think if you would like to make music, just go for it. Just to break just start. every rule you have, a greater own rule. Yes, yes. Uh, for example, I do everything uh, by heart. I don't have any approach of how to make uh, music. And uh, you don't have I any think, approach to create music, and you just you follow your heart, right? Follow your feeling. Uh, right? Yes, yes. I follow my feeling. For example, uh, I know that some musician uh, musicians always start uh, with uh, track, and then lyrics. Uh, for me, it uh, works from song to song. For example, I can start from lyrics and create music, then, or, for example, from music and then create lyrics for it. So I think uh, creation, um, it's difficult to have rules in creation, <laughs> what yes. I wanted to say. Okay, okay. Just we enjoy our time. We're just speaking, laughing, and discovering each other. And it's a great honor for me to see you for a special, my friend, Julia. And to yeah, know you, and know your journey, and to know you, and know your journey in art, because you do a lot of things, Julia from Electro to Ravi, a lot of great music, a lot of albums, a lot of official videos in YouTube, and just keep up, keep creating music, keep whatever you want. So, um, that's the all nine questions I have. I can maybe yeah. add a lot of questions. But for the time, it's just a 40 minute, you know, and maybe, mm -hmm. yeah. yes. So, okay. Any question do you want to ask me? Uh, I will answer before we finish. Uh, yes. I, I would like to ask, uh, when can we hear your next release? Mm, about my next release? Yes. I will release the uh, next album in 2025 because in mm -hmm. 2024, I want to focus on my sound. I want to just mm -hmm. evolve my sound to next level because I'm playing ambient. Maybe I want to change my genre. Maybe I want to play some ambient up techno and space ambient mm -hmm. with a, a lot of space sequence. Yes, the new ideas, new music coming in 2025. And uh, why you have chosen uh, electronic music and uh, space ambient? Well, I choose electronic music because I say electronic music is the future of art mm -hmm. because we use our technology and the music as for me as a as a new era to guide us into a future technology so i study in computer science and i'm a programmer mm -hmm. i have a bachelor of computer science so yes computer science helped me to understand um, fm synthesis basics of synthesizer because we use our software to create music there's a similarity between my department and mm -hmm. the electronic music. So space ambient for me is everything. I love space ambient. I love sci-fi movies. Mm. I want so to become they a, inspire you, yeah? Yes, yes. I want maybe in the future to become a film composer. Yeah, that's my dream. Mm. <laughs> film, uh, yes. When I was listening to your songs, I also thought that it would be very interesting to uh, hear your songs in any movie about space. 
I love space ambient, yes. I maybe I want to change it uh, in the future. I want to add a lot of things in my in my style hmm. and make it so beautiful and that's all I have. So So we are then, waiting for uh, amazing new tracks from you. So okay, yeah, I will release a lot of things in 2025. <laughs> but yeah, 2024 is for me is good to to improve myself a lot because you know you need a lot of mm -hmm. practice, you need to listen a lot of genres to discover a lot of ideas, meeting a lot of people to inspire you. And you know, of course. every artist, every artist do that. And you know what I mean. Mm, of course. Yes. I know. <laughs> so do you have another question too? Um, I think I have a lot of questions, but we will be not in time then. <laughs> so okay, we can maybe we can maybe chat in, in Messenger if, if you like. Okay. When you have time, okay. just ask me whatever you want and the question I will answer. Okay, so thank you so much for I'm, this uh, wonderful meeting. It was I'm very happy. I'm very happy to see you for a special. <laughs> me too. It will be a great yeah. honor for me to see you for real and chat with you for a special and know you, know your art, know your field in music and know your process and everything. So I'm very honor honored today. I'm very happy greeting from my country. If you need anything, just drop me a message. Maybe I see you. Okay. I'm not available on, on Facebook always. Uh, yes. So, okay, we can chat later if you like or uh, send me any question okay. you want. I will answer. So, okay. Thank you so much, Thank my you. friend, Julia. Keep doing art. You're the best. You're a masterpiece. Thank you. Just believe in yourself and break all the rules and create your own rules. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's a great honor for me to see you, Julia. See you. Until the next time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so Bye. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay.